the Marquis de Lafayette was one of the most important figures in the American Revolution who wasn't from the colonies. With his help rallying France to fight for America, we gained independence. Lafayette was born into wealth in France in the late 18th century, hearing war stories about his father, who died in combat before he could meet his son. Lafayette was inspired by his father's tales of war and combat, and when he heard of the American Revolution, he knew his purpose to fight. When Lafayette was just 19 he sailed to America, abandoning his new wife and child and volunteered in the Continental Army. Soon, Lafayette was permitted to fight in Brandywine. His eagerness nearly got him killed, as British soldiers fired at him, hitting him in the foot. But soon he was back on his feet, fighting Hessians in New Jersey. He was given command of his own regiment. In June of 1778, he barely rescued his forces from defeat at the Battle of Monmouth. He returned to France and had a child. His time home was cut short to fight in Yorktown, the last battle of the war. Back in France, he was named head of their National Guard after the Bastille was stormed. He was put in prison after the Jacobins overthrew the government. After his release in 1797, his wife died in 1804. Lafayette died in 1834, remembered as a hero. If not for the Marquis de Lafayette, the concept of the colonies winning the Revolutionary War would have been nothing more than a fever dream. If not for his war dreams, Britain's army would have trounced the Continental Army. Lafayette was a hero who was able to strike a major blow to the British Empire and come out on top.